many organisms at one time. Many of them are beneficial. We call these mutualists. Mutualists, such as pollinators, plant protectors, or organisms that help plants acquire nutrients, all interact with some of the same plants at the same time. So these multiple interactions are important to consider in a world where many of our energy and nutrient food security solutions depend on plants. Bean plants form a symbiotic relationship with nitrogen-fixing bacteria called Rhizobia. They live in plant roots and fix nitrogen, making a source of fertilizer available to the plant made in-house. Plants with this relationship grow bigger and have more protein-rich tissue, which we know it is why beans are an important source of protein. Um, but the added nutrients also affect the rest of the plant's physiology, impacting their secondary metabolism, or plant defenses. Uh, without the ability to run away from their attackers, plants uh, produce chemicals that are toxic or tough to deter herbivores. And just like we choose the plants that we consume based on bitterness, spiciness, concern that it might harm us, all other herbivores are also making choices about which plants they consume. So this step from producer to consumer in the food web is determined by the way plants defend themselves. This is why the factors that affect plant-insect interactions matter, such as symbiotic nitrogen-fixing bacteria. Uh, in lima bean plants, uh, symbiotic bacteria affect their cyanogenic potential, meaning this toxic defense, releasing hydrogen cyanide, um, which deters herbivores. But having these bacteria also decreases a different defense, extrafloral nectar. Extrafloral nectar is nectar that plants produce not for pollination, but to attract predators of their herbivores. Um, which act as bodyguards and protect the plant in exchange for symbiotic, or in exchange for sugary sweet nectar rewards. But producing this reward is at a cost to the plant um, and conflicts with that symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria mutualism because that requires a significant amount of resources as well. So the result is that fewer ants are attracted to plants with symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria. How can ants have any, no any noticeable effect? Well, um, ants are ecosystem cyclers. They are engineers. They um, alter soil properties and increase biodiversity. Um, but from an applied research perspective, ants are also an important natural predator. And one potential application of this, um, of using plant defenses in research, is as an aim to reduce pesticide use. Um, so, it's important if we're considering a potential application to consider all of the plant's interactions with their beneficial organisms at one time as we develop our solutions. Thank you.